Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Race Talk, episode number 335. You can already tell by the shirt we're wearing. Had to pull out the Crow shirt this week because Chief won the big tire class at War in the Woods this past weekend. And we're going to cover it briefly here in this video because we already discussed it a little bit throughout the stream and I posted it as a stream highlight. I got a bunch of other channels I want to shout out for you guys to go check out like actual video footage of the race. And also to Chief and Jackie, as at the time I'm recording this video right now, they have yet to post their video of the War in the Woods whole experience from them and their point of view of the event. So we'll cover it briefly here. As you guys know, Chief won the big tire class. I was so happy to see that the haters were going off. And let me tell you, I've been taking it on the shins this whole past week for Chief and Jackie because people have been just there. It's the haters. They love to be mad about stuff, and they're so mad that they came out first race and won. And we've said this again already. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but people were saying like, oh, of course, he's got to go out and beat these guys. He can't run with the No Prep Kings guys. He's already won a No Prep Kings race when there's guys that are, going to, that are going to be out there today. As you guys are watching this video, there's guys out there that have never even been to a finals when... Chief, I mean, he won a race after it. I said eight earlier in the week. It might only be six no prep kings races they've been, been in, but nevertheless, you guys get what I'm getting at there. And also, too, the surface they were going down, like everyone had to get down that same crazy surface. And I was watching videos of, uh, I was watching what what specific video was it? It was the street racing channel video of the and in the video they had the in car footage from Billy and Tommy when they were racing. That shutdown was short. I was like, when I was watching it, I'm like, how? And I haven't seen an in car footage shot from Chief making a pass yet, obviously, because Chief and Jackie haven't posted a video yet. But I was like, like, how in the hell is he gonna shut that thing down in time? And I mean, like, I can't, I just can't wait to watch their video. I'm so happy that they ended up winning that race. Can't wait to see what other races they go to in the future. And this is kind of something that I assume people are going to start asking after this video because the main topic we're going to discuss. And I saw, shout out Sketchy's Garage. He asked Chief this question as well in a video he made. And it was, will he put small tires on the Crow? And I think it's safe to say no, because we were discussing this in the stream as well, how I don't even think we'll see Chief and Jackie both run at the same event. Because, for instance, in the finals for War in the Woods, you had the small tire finals, then the big tire finals. They were within, like three minutes of each other like the small tire final ran and as soon as the small tire cars came back big tire cars did their burnouts and it was ready to go so there's just i mean like they got a small crew as well it was chief jackie and tuan i think then they had brie selling the merch they didn't have very like it wasn't a big like crew as a lot of people think that they got with this whole ordeal so we're not going to be seeing them race both cars at events i mean maybe if they go to like a like a closer track they'll bring both cars maybe just to like have them there to show people like i don't know about that as well but for sure we'll see them race at more stuff in the future the small tire stuff will be caddy jack once that thing's up and running and the big tire stuff will remain to be the crow and chief brought up a good point in the video again shout out sketchy's garage i saw this video earlier in the week from them he's like if he lee like the big tire stuff is almost like i don't want to say dying out but like i because that sounds bad, but honestly, that is essentially what's like almost happening with like the top level stuff for Big Tar. Because everyone Big Tar goes and runs on TV for the real stuff. It's like it is. It's almost dying out, you could say. And if Chief were to take his Big Tire car, the biggest, big, the biggest, uh, what would you, the biggest name in Big Tire racing, if you were to take that car and put it on small tires, it's destined for failure for the survive i'm messing up some more survivability i'm messing up the words here i apologize ladies and gentlemen for the big tire racing so it makes sense for him to keep his car at big tire and continue to race hopefully draw more names in bring bring more attention to the races because when you look at these events like war in the woods 102 small tire cars everyone's going there for the small tire race there was a big tire class as well there were 16 guys there and not a lot of people i would say would have even acknowledged that that much if chief wasn't running there so hopefully he will help rejuvenate the big tire stuff for the, some of the more real stuff that we see and also too billy and tommy from street racing channel both unfortunately went out in the second round i believe and for some footage on them like i mentioned i watched i was watching their video literally just today right when i got from the gym i watched their video check out all the street racing channels for all of their videos in regards to this stuff check out outlaw media sketchy's garage and spooled media those are some other channels i was watching as well throughout the week shout out to everyone that was out there making content of the race because all this stuff on youtube all the like 
all this stuff is the content is so good i've been just watching so much stuff of it and shout out to everyone again outlaw media sketches garage school media and streamers channel those are the four main ones i was looking at and there's many others as well be sure to check some of those channels out to see some actual footage of the race itself and then transitioning right on into the main topic this week and we're talking about the future of street outlaws and i already know people are gonna be saying so this is a clickbait title this isn't all street outlaws because street outlaws appears to be going all small tire now when i say street outlaws i'm referring to the 405 street outlaws because the name of the 405 show is just street outlaws if i were to be referring to all of street outlaws going small tire insane fastest in america america's list 405 show memphis all that stuff i would say in the title all street outlaws shows are going small tire but no the street outlaws show the main title show the biggest show they have is going all small tire for what appears to be at least this upcoming season now sean had a video on his channel the 187 customs channel where he was talking about the 55 now he kind of implied or almost he didn't I don't want to say he directly, directly said it, but it was very close to directly saying it and most definitely implied. He will be racing the 55. He might have actually said it. You know what? I think he did. I think he did. He will be racing the 55 in this upcoming season of the 405 show. And our best guess right now is that's going to be filmed in July. Seeing the progress a lot of these guys are making on their cars, Jeff Lutz is also building a small tire daily driver 57 Chevy. We've actually been speculating him building this car for a little while. I was saying, I think he's going to be doing it, but I'm not positive. He confirmed it this past week. He's 100% building that car. I'm super happy to see that thing come out because, like I said, when he came out with the 57 and I first saw the thing, I'm like, this is the most beautiful car I've ever seen in my life. I can't wait to see this small tire car as well. And I'm guessing with the break for No Prep Kings in July. And we're going to discuss this in No Prep News as well. But Outlaw Armageddon actually got pushed back to 2023. They're not having Outlaw Armageddon this year during July. And we were just saying, and again, this is kind of tying too, a little too much into No Prep News. I'll elaborate on this more in Sunday's video. But we were saying how with Outlaw Armageddon being during the month of July, that's kind of implying that there'll probably be a break for the filmings and stuff but seeing that Outlaw Armageddon got moved out of July into next year that's implying that there is going to be a street show filmed seeing that there is no no prep show being filmed so I'm almost positive that we're going to be seeing the small tire 405 show or just street outlaws the 405 show filmed during July and I want to say if we're seeing that and they're just racing with the 405 guys I think it's likely we'll see another season of fastest in America filmed during that time because obviously that show doesn't involve the 405 at all so I could see something like that happening during july as well but staying on the topic of street outlaws the 405 show and the fate of this sean said they're gonna be building stoplight to stoplight race cars with all legit body panels and all real steel those are two direct quotes from their video on the 187 customs channel and again this wasn't a video where they kind of like this was the big main point of the video. It was briefly discussed right at the very beginning. So there isn't a whole bunch of information out in regards to this, but I think this is going to be something cool to see because as I've always said, a big thing the main Street Outlaw show has gotten away from is the relatability. That's a big complaint a lot of the fans have seen. A lot of fans saying, I just can't relate to these cars anymore. And because of that, I've lost interest with the show. I believe this will bring back that big sum of fans that have stopped watching or lost interest in street outlaws because they've lost that relatability aspect of it but at the same time i do like i don't want to sound like a complainer hater ladies and gentlemen but i have a complaint it's where are we going to see the big tire stuff then we're only going to see the big tire cars on no prep kings and for the four or five for the street stuff it'll be america's list because we don't see them on fastest in america unless we do see them on fast in america and if that is the case i will be perfectly fine with not seeing the big tire cars on the street outlaw show anymore if that show is just the small tire stuff but then again too it brings up the question okay how are they going to determine what five guys go for the 405 for america's list or are they going to expand it to where anyone can go and they just have to compete in the race their way in at the start so they won't do their round robin stuff anymore i'm interested to see how that plays out once the next season of america's list rolls around but nonetheless it appears that this upcoming 405 show will be all small tires it appears for the future of street outlaws it will just be small tire street racing with more down-to-earth daily driver level cars now my 
assumption or prediction for this. It'll start out with that. It'll start out with the small tire daily drivers off, unless they put some pretty hefty rules on limiting these guys to what they're able to do. But if it's just small tire stuff, I don't. I want to assume it'll just progress and grow as we've seen actual small tire racing progress and grow over these past couple of years. Unless, like I said, which it kind of would make sense because he said it's going to be all steel body panels and stuff. So I assume they're going to be putting heavy limitations on these cars from the very start, which is probably going to be good to see because it will be interesting to see people have to build it with that like build these specific cars but then again like how, how long will they be able to sustain that because if it's just this same level car they can't upgrade them they can't build them do this and that i mean because you might say well with no prep kings it's the same thing no prep kings there's rule changes every year allowing people to change their cars this and that and do different combos and stuff with this like how long will we be able to see this before it gets just boring and it's the same stuff over and over again? The first season is going to be phenomenal because it's going to be all new stuff. But the second and third season, because look at this most recent two 405 shows. We had the, not this season, but this most recent season, but one of the four. The Ron Robin stuff, super cool, exciting to see because it was something brand new. This past season, it was a little boring because it was just the same thing again and again. I hope we see different stuff. I hope we see a variety of stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing this show. I think it's going to be really good because, ladies and gentlemen, Street Outlaws, the 405 show is going back to its roots and going back to all small tire racing for this next season. So that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so very much for watching TTVE to the very end of this week's episode of Street Race Talk. I apologize. Oh, my eyes are still all red. I'm still looking rough. When is this allergy thing supposed to go away? I've never had this before. I've had like, you know, the stuffy nose, the coughing and stuff, but I've never had like this stuff with my eyes. Is this allergy stuff? Like, is this all summer? Am I doomed for the rest of summer? Or is this supposed to go away like hopefully in the next couple weeks but nonetheless thank you guys so much for watching ttv i hope you enjoyed make sure you guys click that little bell turn notifications on so you do not miss a single video that upload all my videos upload go live at 6 p.m central standard time and make sure you guys tune in on monday night at 6 50 p.m central standard time where we'll be going live here on my channel watching the new episode of street outlaws america's list make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below your reaction from chief winning the big tire class at war in the woods and your reaction to the four or five show going all small tire leave all that in the comment section down below make sure you guys check out midweststreetcars.com and use coupon code simabcxyz for 20 percent off your order first link down in the description will take you directly to their store and i also have some merch as well on the dashboard of my channel go to the store tab and you can see the betsy merch and street race talk merch we got shirts and hoodies and i'm pretty sure you guys will see the stuff at the bottom of the video so check that out if you guys are interested i also set up a p.o box so if you guys would like to send me stuff address is down below in the description but like i said that is all thank you so very much for watching ttv hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys had a great week this weekend I'm looking forward to a great weekend this weekend and i honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching ttv make sure you follow me on instagram at same xyz don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz signing out